right, so I was in the mood to do another video, but I am still reading the book that I started after Delirium, so I couldn't do a book review, so I decided I would do a tag, and this is the a quote that tag started by Books for a Dreaming Teen, and I will link her channel down below, and let's just jump right into it. The first one is, a quote that is your favorite opening line from a book. The line I chose is, the way I figure it, everyone gets a miracle. That was from Paper Towns by John Green. The next one is a quote that makes you laugh. I chose, Jim should be illegal. It's humiliating. And that was from Speak by Lori Hulse Anderson. When I first read that line, I cracked up because that was the exact same thing that I thought whenever I had to take a freaking gym class. I hated gym. The next one is a quote that has helped you through something. I chose, when you wake up in the morning, you have two choices. Go back to sleep and dream your dreams or wake up and chase those dreams. I actually found that on Tumblr a few days ago. It's definitely now one of my favorite quotes and it will definitely be going somewhere on my wall at some point. A quote that inspires you. I chose, speak the truth even if your voice shakes. And that's pretty self-explanatory. The next quote I chose is very much music related. It's talking about the preachiness that a lot of times goes on in the music community. People are always talking about how their taste in music is better than somebody else's taste of music and it's ridiculous. And I guess it could be applied to books as well but I see it more in the music community than I do in the book community. This quote is actually from Sinister Gates, the lead guitarist of Avenged Sevenfold. It says, I hope they realize that music is music and that music is not a scene, not a style. Music is a beautiful thing to listen to. It is not a thing to preach to others about. It's not a cause. It is what it is, and that's a beautiful art form. I think that will also be going somewhere on my wall at some point. A quote that makes you cry. This one is going to take a while to read because it's more like a giant paragraph than is a quote, but there's never really been like one or two quotes that make me cry. If you haven't read Mockingjay, then fast forward a little bit because it's where it's from. It was the waste of a trip. She's not here, I tell him. Buttercup hisses again. She's not here. You can hiss all you like. You won't find Prim. At her name, he perks up, raises his flattened ears, begins to meow hopefully. Get out. He dodges the pillow I throw at him. Go away. There's nothing left for you here. I start to shake, furious with him. She's not coming back. She's never ever coming back here again. I grab another pillow and get to my feet to improve my aim. Out of nowhere, the tears begin to pour down my cheeks. She's dead. I clutch my middle to dull the pain. Sink down on my heels, rocking the pillow, crying. She's dead, you stupid cat. She's dead. A new sound, part crying, part singing, comes out of my body, giving voice to my despair. Buttercup begins to wail as well. No matter what I do, he won't go. He circles me just out of reach as wave after wave of sobs racks my body until eventually I fall unconscious. But he must understand. He must know that the unthinkable has happened and to survive will require previously unthinkable acts. Because hours later, when I come to you in my bed, he's there in the moonlight, crouched beside me, yellow eyes alert, guarding me from the night. You guys have no idea how hard I was crying when I read that part. And I still cry every once in a while when I read it, but I was, the first time I read it, I was sobbing. It was terrible. A quote that is your favorite Harry Potter quote. This is from Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, and I believe it was said by Sirius Black. It says, we've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is what part we choose to act on. That's who we really are. Quote that is about books or reading. The worth of a book is to be measured by what you can carry away from it by James Bryce. I have no idea who that is, but I saw that on Tumblr the other day too and I really liked it. The next one is a quote that is your favorite John Green quote. And this is also from Paper Towns, considering this is the only book I've read by John Green. I know it's impossible for you to see your peers this way, but when you're older, you start to see them. The bad kids and the good kids and all kids. As people. They're just people who deserve to be cared for. A quote that is your favorite ending line to a book. And this is also from Speak by Lori Hulse Anderson. The tears dissolve the last block of ice in my throat. I feel the frozen stillness melt down through the inside of me, dripping shards of ice that vanish in a puddle of sunlight on the stained floor. Words float up. Let me tell you about it. A quote that you are going to try and remind yourself of through life. And this is also from Speak by Lori Hall Saunderson. You have to know what you stand for, not just what you stand against. So that was my quote that tag. 
if you guys want to do it, feel free to do it. It's actually a lot more fun than I expected it to be, so that was exciting. And again, I will leave the original video down below. So, video recommendations. I am actually going to recommend one video because I'm kinda lazy and I really don't feel like going through like my whole YouTube timeline and finding videos. So, the video that I am recommending is by, once again, Kimmy Smiles. She is the cutest girl on the face of the planet and I adore her and she has this love for zombies which I can totally back up because I love zombies as well. She wrote an original song about zombies and she did a music for it as well and she just posted that today or, or yesterday because it's four o'clock in the morning so definitely go check that out. It's really great and I already have it stuck in my head and so as usual, I will leave that link down below. Let me know in the comments what some of your favorite quotes are. And also if you watched the Kimmy Smiles video and let me know what you thought of that. So yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button over there up in the corner. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.